Hi Sagis, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Sagittarius Tarot. This reading is going to help you make a choice. If you are, you know, struggling with a choice or trying to weigh down option one, option two, which way to go, this reading is going to shed more light um, upon this. So first of all, we're going to talk about your motivation, right? Your motivation for this choice in front of you like what is fueling your energy towards thinking about this choice anyhow what is this all about overcoming obstacles you can overcome anything so first and foremost this is talking about an obstacle about a goal that feels so fixed this is the excalibur sword in the um, rock that there's only one key person that can lift and anyone else who has all the power in the world won't be able to right so this means this key is only directed for one person or this obstacle is only there just for you right um, you have the heart symbol within the sword as well um, and so this talks about no matter what is the obstacle or challenge in front of you it is literally made just for you. There's a lesson behind this. And you can see behind this rock, there is a path leading to these green mountains, indicating that once you overcome this, and you will, right? Because this obstacle is made just for you. What does that mean? That means as much as it seems impossible to others, and as much as it might seem impossible to you, but you hold the key to overcome it and you shall you can overcome anything right so there is an obstacle here that have already put you in front of um this situation right there's a situation here and that's why you're thinking of options like what to do to overcome this obstacle now we're going to talk about your ideal outcome What would be ideally your outcome? Like these are your expectations um, once you overcome the obstacles. And so, miracles. Your ideal outcome is miracles. Expect the wanderers to emerge. It's upright as well. This is so beautiful. So ideally, um, I feel that you are expecting universal intervention. You're really expecting a miracle to happen. Like as much as you believe in the um, long way and in doing things the right way and thinking long term and in progressing one step at a time, I feel that underlying all that and as much as you're trying to do everything possible um, to overcome that, somehow, somewhere deep down, you still believe in miracles. You still believe that something wondrous is about to enter your life and it's going to help you to emerge Notice the word emerge over that rock, right? Take the sword away. And the sword, by the way, represents like old fears, right? Old ideas, old beliefs. And to overcome this and allow you to get to that green destination of yours. Um, there's the element of the moon here indicating nighttime. So maybe your subconscious is going to get a download while you're dreaming or while you're meditating. Um, this is talking maybe also about an idea that comes to you through viewing something, reading something, watching something at night when you're all alone. Um, I love it so much. I love it because this tells me that you're really, really hopeful. You did not lose faith, which is the number one element whenever you are overcoming obstacles, is to believe and have faith that even though you can't see it, a miracle can happen and you shall overcome right? You can overcome anything, expect the wondrous to emerge. And so now we're going to talk about your values. What are the qualities or values of Saji when it comes to this situation that we have? Wondrous universe! Have you seen how all of this is like continuing, right? You can overcome anything, expect the wondrous to emerge. And here it, it emerged, wondrous universe. Like, come on, how? <laughs> oh my God, right? I mean, I'm speechless. 
Wondrous Universe, Walk in Beauty. Here we see Merlin, the magician, um, with the um, planets around him, and he's performing some sort of magic, and he's like really walking in beauty and admiring the beauty of the universe and life. He's connected and all of that. And so I think your inherent values when it comes to all of this is your ability to be the magician, is your ability to create magic, to transmute things, your ability to transform things. And it's that deep belief, I think, in miracles and deep belief in faith and in the universe that allow you to dream of the impossible and allow you to dream that you were chosen for this task specifically and that you really can overcome anything. And that this obstacle is just a lesson put for you, but your destiny is to reach the green mountains over there. Um, that's, that's awesome. Three upright cards in the most beautiful positions. I'm loving this. Now, we have in front of us, right, two options that we are likely to take. Now that we are thinking about how to overcome these obstacles, we, have, we are expecting miracles right? And at the same time, our values talk about beauty. So whatever destination we're heading towards is going to be all about beauty. And it's all about universal energy, because wondrous universe also talks about the global energy. So you're a child of the world. Um, you believe that you belong to the world. And you really can't wait to go to that foreign land. So this probably is talking about moving to another country, moving to another state, moving to another city, moving to another industry, um, completely moving to another home, um, moving to another community. There's all of this traveling um, experience here that it is showing me. And... I don't know. Also, by the way, like with the with the miracles card here, there is this feelings of Orient and this is your expectation. And I feel with this, it's like there is this the, there's the genie right here that you make a wish and the star is lit up and it feels like with the wondrous global energy, maybe you are in the Orient and you want to leave and move towards the Occident world, right? You want to go from east to west maybe right you can apply that wherever you are um all right that was very specific let's continue let's see then option one what is the likely outcome of the option one right there's two ways to go about this and so let's see the first way what it will lead to to help you make that decision of yours so the option one likely outcome is first light in reverse beginning a new cycle so somewhere whenever you do decide to take option one i feel it's going to be a little bit like a false start or something it will have delays it will have it will take time it won't really start immediately i think like this feels like you know a start where you want to do something and then you encounter a lot of mini obstacles, right? Some delays. Maybe it, it's like, it's not the easiest to start all of that. And yeah, because the, the upright, it talks about beginning a new cycle of life. And so when it's, and the first light, right? The dawn. And so when, when it's in this position, I feel there's like a, there's like a resistance, there's delays. Um, it's not the easiest start, the option one. Let's take a look at option two, and then we're going to clarify. So option two. Valiant courage. I love it. Take action with passion. So option two is also... Um, it, it takes courage, right? So it's not also like an easy route, but I feel like it's more, it's better suited for you, right? Um, I think option one, um, the universe and life is throwing so much, so many delays your way to show you that this is not the right way to start, right? That's not the best way. To, you will always get your destination, right? Don't get me wrong, right? With these three cards, that means you're going to get to your destination, but these are the two ways to go about it. And I think option one is really like the universe on purpose is trying to 
create all these delays, he's not trying to deliver, he's trying to create all these problems for you in order to tell you that this is not the easiest way to do this, there's better ways suited for you, right? So don't take the um, cosmically unaligned way. And with option two, it's telling you like this is something suited for you. You have the valiant courage needed. All you need to do is take action with passion, right? Passion indicates a desire. That means believing in the way you're going to go about this. But it, it still means that, you know, there is an element of taking action, not being passive, right? Not just wishing on a star. Now that you believe in the wondrous universe and you want to walk in beauty, now that you're expecting the wonders to emerge, you got to take action and remove that sword, right? You got to um, remove that old energy. Um, and so and so here I see you galloping on your horse, right? And you're a Saji, so that reflects you. And you're really going for it, right? The clouds here, if you notice, they indicate a little bit the unknown. So it's a destination that you don't know what's going to unfold throughout your journey before you, go, you get to your destination. But this is talking about you being ready for it, right? Being all about going that way. So I'm leaning towards option two, right? Now we're going to take um, the angel answers card and pick a clarifying card for these two options. Let us see. Let's pick a card for option one. The delayed universe blocking your way first light option. It said yes. All right. That keeps on getting interesting. So I think... With this yes card, um, you can see the angel here holding two balls of fire, one that's yellow, one that's um, silver, representing the sun energy being passive and the moon energy being um, receptive. But also, so this talks about um, whenever we are weighing down many ways. So there's many ways to go about option one. And this is showing me that you're feeling a little bit, you know, your ideas are ping-ponging, you're feeling a little wobbly. Um, you're going back and forth about which which is the best way to go at this and also this is telling me like that you're juggling um universal energy so that's why maybe there's delays and obstacles here because there's many things thrown your way and you're juggling them in your mind in your energy maybe this is also talking about a decision and you changing your mind and you know that like every time you throw a different intention to the universe the universe rearranges elements for you to get there and so every time you change intuition or you switch position or you switch energy you're re resetting all the cycle and that's why you get new obstacles to get there and this is talking about the crown chakra that's lit up that's connected directly to source energy and this is talking about achieving your dreams represented by the rainbows here um so with this card like i told you right both both ways are going to lead to that goal of yours to that travel to that move to whatever you are going from point a to point b but and that's why you got a yes even with the option one but the option one i feel tells me that there's a reason why things are not clear and that beginning a new cycle is not crystal clear yet and set in stone yet because there's a better way to go about it right so there's many ways it, I don't think it, it's option one. Uh, it's option one A. It's not option one B per se. It's gonna be one, option one C. You just gotta find the right way. That's why there's delays because it's still telling you if you are hundred percent sure that this is the way to go about the, about things, you still have many layers to figure out. Now we're going to take a look at the option two likely outcome, which is the valiant courage and taking action with passion. Oh my God, it fell. Perfect timing. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, I love this because you see the difference between option one and option two. Option two feels more sure. Like not only you are taking action with passion and you have the courage, although it's unknown. You don't feel the need to weigh your decision like, like in option one. Option one, it's like unknown, but you're very indecisive and you don't know how to do bad things and you're ruminating and brainstorming and all of that and researching. In option two, you don't know what's waiting for you, but you don't care. 
You have so much passion that you're just willing to take action, embrace the valiant courage and just dig in. And with this, it's telling you that the universe is on your side and that's the perfect timing to take that step. Whatever action you're going to take is blessed by the universe. So you don't need to be scared. Just go, go for it. I'm loving option two. All right. Now with the love and light cards here, we're going to look at your advice. Yeah, I'm leaning towards option two, 100%, 100% with this card. Look, it says it's time to be adventurous and play. So not only this talks about the adventure that's, that you see here, right? And by the way, do you see the colors on his flag, on your flag, right? Blue and bronze. And look at the blue and bronze here. There's, there's this energy all over there. You see these two birds in the background here? Look at them. Do you need more? <laughs> like confirmation about this option too? It's time to be adventurous and play. The flowers are springing up. The season of singing birds has come. And the cooing or tur of turtle doves fill the air. This is talking about it's time for you to take that leap of faith and just go on that adventure and this is saying as much as you should be courageous and filled with your passion and as much as the perfect timing is there to comfort you, this should also allows, allow you to have fun and play along the way, right? As much as all of this is going, don't take yourself too seriously and don't forget to play. And it's here where the energy of the walking in beauty comes. The wondrous universe is like... Here's where our, your values are kicking in during that adventure is to allow yourself throughout this valiant, courageous, courageous adventure to walk in beauty and just basking in the wondrous energy of the universe. Because life is so pretty how it's going to unfold and it's going to be, it's going to feel like a miracle. And you, you know, you live experiences once and so you got to really be mindful whenever you are going through this um, experience to enjoy every second of it because once you remove that sword and once you reach also that destination the journey is over so as much as the glory as glorious as the adventure that you're about to take and as much as the destination is so amazing and magical the journey of how you'll get there is going to be even more interesting and more, more beautiful. And so you don't want to skip that just rushing to get to the final situation. You want to enjoy and remember every single step you took in that option too um, before you get to the destination. And then it's just going to be awesome. This is literally like a fairy like tale type of ending. I love, love, love this. So, so beautiful. I love you, Sagis. Mm.